Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, write an XPath to find all the hyperlinks on a web page. Let me answer. It's very easy to write an XPath expression to find all the hyperlinks on the web page because in HTML, the hyperlinks will have the tag known as anchor tag stands for A, A stands for anchor, here A, okay? If you have to find all the hyperlinks on the web page, you have to simply write this XPath expression that I have written already here, double forward slash A. It will find all the hyperlinks on the web page. This is the XPath which can find all the hyperlinks on the web page. For example, if you want to find all the images on the web page, double forward slash IMG tag, okay? Because images in HTML will have IMG tag like that, okay? So hope you got the idea. Let me practically demonstrate this for you. For that, I'll switch to this Eclipse ID where we have some sample Selenium automation code, which is already written for opening the Chrome browser, for maximizing the browser. And here we need to open the application URL in the browser, okay? Let me open the application URL. Uh, let's go to one application like uh, Internet Heroku app. Uh, and uh, let me click on this link. You see, there are a lot of hyperlinks on this page. From here to here, there are a lot of hyperlinks. I would like to find how many hyperlinks are there, and I would like to do a lot of stuff on these hyperlinks. So simply, guys, uh, if you want to find uh, how many hyperlinks are there on this page with the help of XPath expression, I don't even have to write a script here. We can easily find it out. So how means uh, the better way is, uh, one way is like right-click inspect, uh, right-click inspect, and say control F and say double slash A. Here you write the XPath expression like this. It is saying 46. We don't know whether this count is uh, correct or not. If you want to get the exact count, then you have to install an add-on or extension, okay? The extension is known as uh, selector sub. Why I'm saying is it may not only search for anchor text, but in between some A kind of letters are there that also will be count counted sometimes. It will search for A. That's the problem, okay? This will search for A. So if A is there instead of tag, uh, some attribute or something is there, it can find it out, okay? That's a problem. So it's better not to use the default Google Chrome Dev tools uh, and uh, provide the XPath expression to find the count uh, of the hyperlinks on this page. Instead, let's uh, depend on, let's go with uh, a proper, uh, ex uh, I mean, add-on or extension known as Selector Sub. Selector Sub, this is the official website of the Selector Sub. Go to the selectorsub.com and uh, here you got the first plugin that is a uh, selector sub. Click on uh, select this one and uh, it will take you to the web page. A lot of uh, things are there here. That's fine. Uh, go here, selector sub, and then uh, here select the Chrome because I'm using the Chrome browser now. And it will take you to the Google Chrome store for the selector sub. Click on add to Chrome, add extension. In a while, the selector sub add on will be installed in my. Chrome browser, okay? It's getting installed. You can see that it got added. You cannot see it here, but you can click here and say pin so that you can, okay? See it here, okay? Just uh, better to, you know, restart your browser once after installing. It's better, it's a good practice. After installing any extension, you better restart the browsers, okay? Again, go to the same website, internet here to app. Click on this link. And now, Earlier, uh, using the Google Chrome Tev tools, we got 46 as a number. Let's try to see what uh, Selector Sub does. Inspect this. You'll get the Google Chrome Dev tools here. And uh, just uh, see the under elements, see the sub tabs, styles, computer layouts. The last one will be Selector Sub. Select that. And here type the XPath expression, double slash A, press enter. Here also 46 is coming. That means uh, whatever the Google Chrome Dev tools was uh, suggesting the number, the count of hyperlinks is same. Correct. Okay. Now, Using programmatically how to do this is uh, copy this URL and uh, paste it here and create an XPath expression driver.find element. Instead of element, you have to say find elements because why? Because this is an XPath expression which is returning you multiple elements. Okay, so give by.xpath provide the XPath expression. Double slash A. Copy this and paste it here. And this find elements will return you a list of web elements. Those are nothing but uh, links, hyperlinks are links. The return type of this find elements is list of web elements. It will come here like this, list of web elements. Now, uh, list belongs to Java collections and uh, there is a predefined method in the list collection that is size, using which we can find how many links are there. System .out .out uh total number of links on the page are 
colon and say plus just give this links which is list of web elements dot size you say size is the predefined method of the list collections okay now after that pick the browser in the output uh, this output will be in this statement will be printed with the count as 46 and all run this right click run as java application let's switch for the script to run and uh, we can see the output clearly after running that uh, total number of uh, links on the page are 46 will be printed okay total number of links on the page are 46 so hope guys you got the answer for this question but uh, this very simple answer you don't have to write this code i just made it more uh, explanatory in this uh, as an answer for this question but in real time if you get this answer question you just write this xpath expression and show them that's enough okay you don't have to mention all this stuff that i have mentioned in this session just straightforward answer is double forward slash a we'll find all the it's an xpath expression for finding all the hyperlinks on the web page using selenium okay so that's all for this session thank you bye bye